Well, since nobody's home and the holidays are coming around, I thought I might show off the Christmas decorations that we just set up around our house in the um, kitchen and the living room out there. We've got uh, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, just like a dish rag, except it's not wet, so it's all like stiff. Um, got some sort of uh, oh, oh, it's um, it's a tree that lights up, made of glass, it looks like. Kind of hard to see, let me turn, see if I can turn the lights off. Oh, it's not in this one anymore, so yeah, there's a little light switch in here that we have to turn off the light bars down here. And there you can see the tree lights up, and it's next to my... Liberty Bell, this is, um, something my, um, my, uh, sixth grade history teacher gave to me. It was just sitting on a shelf, and I said, I jokingly said if I could have it, and he was serious and said yes. So I took it home, and it was all rusted, so my grandpa and I put it in some, like, rust remover thing, metal polish. I spray painted it black and then um, I glued it onto this platform. Now, unfortunately, um, it it wiggles because well, the uh, it was glued down with um, gorilla glue and then it, uh, on our way home from our grandparents' house, it uh, the box in the car fell from the floor or fell from the seat onto the floor and um, uh, broke the bell. So I just put hot glue on it and while moving it, my mom broke it uh, while putting the Christmas decorations up, but. It does ring, and quite frictionless too. Now if I remove the bell, I did not know this, but when my grandpa was helping me, he put this little fun little sticker down here. It says, I thought you were an American. I thought that was funny because he served in the Vietnam War, so he's, um, uh, he has high patriotism for his country. Um, got some Christmas mats down here. One and two. I personally, uh, feeling them both. I like this one better in terms of comfort. It just, it feels softer, but this one's better in design. We've got some towels here with Santa and um, a snowman. We put a tablecloth here, which is, you know, just something simple. Of course, it, we didn't iron it, so it's very folded. That's, I guess that's fine. Um, put some lights around the wall. And around here, for some reason, camera is not picking these lights up very well. Probably because outside is very bright as it picks up on the camera. Um, by this window here, we've got, well, a window. It's got some cotton balls glued to a bucket, which I guess are snowballs. A snowman. It looks like a cardinal and just a little Merry Christmas sign. Got a a uh, wood sign that says happy holidays. This is a calendar where every day you um, move the present and today is the 3rd of December so it's already been moved but you would just simply take the present out. Here's a Christmas light with an elf holding a present and it says sparkle and shine. It's Christmas time which I think is very oh, is very cute. Um, a little holiday cheer sign here. This bow, I think, went to the Christmas tree and fell off, so we just decided to put it on the door or something nice. Here's the, um, here's the, some lyrics to the Joy to the World, right on the, um, wall. And here, if I rotate the camera, is the Christmas tree. Simple tree skirt and all the ornaments going around. I'll just pan up and down really slowly to let you guys see it. Uh, my mom mostly put up some of this, but I helped decorate the um, decorations. And you know, it's a nice, it's a nice little tree. We've had this star here forever, but um, before the star, or bef no, not before the star. Before this tree, we had another one. It was like about that tall. Without the star, it was really tall, so it was nice. And that broke, so we replaced it. I think it was last year we replaced it. Was it last year? No, it was two years ago we replaced it with this. I guess that's nice. 
on the chair here, we have um, Frosty the Snowman stuff. Little, like, banner, and that's going to go up in my room, which isn't decorated yet. And some 3D printed things. I did not 3D print these. This was um, something my friend, or not my friend, my mom's, f my mom's friend has a husband who makes 3D printed, or 3D prints things, and he made me a tree and has a little base that's supposed to look like snow and even detaches. And I mean, of course it has to detach because you have to print these in multiple colors. So that's nice. Um, and it has a hook here so you can hang on ornament, or in my case, it would be a bell. I might, might, whatever. Um, this is a lantern. Comes out of the base to reveal this being the base. Something simple. I think it's supposed to be like an old Japanese temple or something, that style. Here's the top. It's just simple. Simply goes on top. Um, these come out as well. And these are, um, looks like we've got, I think that's mistletoe. A snowflake, a Christmas tree, and a snowman. Now, he made a third one, which is just simply a Christmas tree that lights up and is RGB. And it's nice, but I had a candle that goes in here, and this thing is some really flexible 3D printed material, so it's it won't break easily, which is good. There was a candle in this, and I lost it, so I thought, well, let's see if the insulation is poor enough, it'll still sh uh, shine through. And luckily, it does still shine through, which is nice. So I basically have a 3D print inside of a 3D print, if that makes any sense. So yeah, th those are just some nice little desktop items for Christmas and I'll probably put these on my dresser. Now unfortunately something I've noticed is that this top does not fit very well on these things. I'm always having a hard time getting it to fit perfectly on and stay there. And I'm not sure what to do about that except maybe the fact that I might be putting it on wrong. But yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Okay, so I fixed it and that wasn't too hard so I'll just... Put that back on there, and then I'll put these back in their spots. Okay, there they are, back in their spots. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Of course, we decorated this whole side by the fireplace. There's me. Um, let's see what we got. So, Christmas sign, fa-la-la. -la. Um, oh, that's from the movie Elf, 2003. Uh, Christmas gnome, Santa peeking out of the chimney, a peace sign. These candles aren't anything holiday related. We just kind of have those up there, but they're usually down here. Um, Christmas and, uh, oh, I forgot what this is um, called, but it's a, a scene where baby Jesus was born. Um, yeah, got the three wise men, some sheep, Joseph and Mary, and two other people I can't be bothered to remember the names of, and some stars and angel in the background. Here is uh, just a tree. I guess it's hollow, so you could maybe use it as a hat or something. Here's a candle. Now, this thing looks gross only because it's old, but um, it says Mary Maple Bear or the uh, Mary Maple Barbin. Is that what that says? Let's smell it. Mm, it smells alright, I guess. Uh, another angel. A piece and stocking. That's my dad's, mom's, oldest brother, middle brother, and mine. This is an ornament that lights up and makes music. If I shake it around. There you go. Christmas scene. And of course, if you don't want the music, there's a mode just to have the light. Here's some nutcrackers. We've had these for ages. Nothing special. Except I don't think I've actually ever seen them crack nuts. Um, 
a mount or a picture with a mountain and it says go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born here's a little spot where you can house candy and to me it kind of looks like a Hershey's kiss opens up and it's made of glass um here's a smaller tree and the battery pack is back here and you know there's different modes here's the second one third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth which is just continuous and ninth is off um there's a certain mode which one was it Ah, uh, yes, this is mode mode 7, it looks like, according to the battery pack. Mode 7, I like to call this seizure mode because there's a lot of blinking lights that could possibly trigger seizures for anyone that does not like quickly blinking lights. And, yeah, that's about, um, oh, I guess there's, uh, I guess there's a couple more things we missed, um, Looks like there's, um, ah, nativity, that's what it's called, this a nativity. There's another nativity in a picture frame and a buckeye-covered tree, because we live in Ohio. In fact, I only live a couple miles away from Ohio Stadium. Here we've got some things hanging on the door. we got Santa, a mitten, a snowman calendar, which simply just moved the nose. I, I do that every morning. And the last door, we've got um, Merry Christmas pillow hanging on the door. Now this thing, this little snowman, despite the fact that it's Christmas themed, has been here forever. We do not really move it that much. I don't, I don't really know what's in, what's in here much. Coaster, rocks. And years ago, I thought this was a piece of felt that looks like a heart, and that's the only reason why I remember it is because I thought it looked like a heart, so I give it to my mom because I love her. So yeah, that's about all the um, Christmas decorations we have. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And as always, have a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah or any other holiday you're celebrating, and a Happy New Year.